Hello everyone, today I'm working on this uh, SD40-2 and it's one of the more recent ones actually. This one has the, uh, the ditch lights. So when I first bought this, I was going to paint it for CP rail. But then when I got it, I took a good look at it and it's in really good shape. And nothing's missing. All the handrails look great. It's got the dish lights, the couplers, the snow plow. Everything's there, so I'm actually not going to touch it. I'm just going to give it a good clean, although uh, it's in pretty good condition now. So um, let's get to work on that. So there's nothing wrong with this. Uh, other than it's got a DCC decoder. Let me just uh, remove the shell here for you. So the DCC decoder, sometimes they let you uh, run your locomotive on DC. Which uh, this one, I tried it on the track. Unfortunately, it doesn't. There's your DCC decoder. I'm just gonna show you uh, on the track what it does. So sometimes they let you run uh, DC. But this one, what it does, it just pulses. So I have to bypass the decoder. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to use this piece of telephone wire just to make a little piece of uh, contact strip that's going to work between my um, frame and the lead from the motor. And that's it. I'm just going to remove uh, some of this isol insulation here that will give me access to the copper wire. So I'm going to keep working on that uh, off camera. I just remove a bit of the oxidation using a steel wool and then I'm going to take my wire cut it into two and see if I can just uh, install it between the frame and the contact strip for the motor if I can do that just slip it under there it will allow me to have a DC so that's all you would need but this looks great on the bench but it interferes with the shell it's a little bit too wide so i've got to work something out to make that work so i just made them a little bit shorter so they can sit in the valley here and not interfere with uh, the body so they work great uh, on the bench also, I've got some great news for them. Uh, to do the maintenance on these, I usually move the subframe details a little bit and spread them out so that the trucks fall out. But some people, they'll just pull on this, get their screwdriver and pull on this. If you do that, the worm gear uh, gets loose. Uh, let me show you what I mean. So here's my method where I pull the subframe down just a little bit and then I'll spread out the frame using my screwdriver just to release uh, my truck. So it should give me just enough slack to uh, release the trucks. And you do have to be careful with that because it's all very fragile parts. So there, my truck is loose. Now, if you just pull on them, you won't necessarily wreck everything, but you're gonna release these tabs here. These little tabs, which will relieve the, release the tower of the truck. And that gets you into the worm gear. And let me just do it off camera because I need to see what I'm doing. So it has tiny, tiny little teeth that hold everything together. Once you have the top of the tower out, you can see the very tiny worm gear 
and the very tiny bearings. So if you just pull on it, you'll end up with that. And it's very easy to lose the, the bearings. The bearings are very small. But the good news is you can order some from Cabo directly. And this is the part number here. If you want some, you can get some new ones. If you ever lose a bearing, you can just go ahead and order some new ones and then uh, you're back in business. So I'm gonna put that back together now. So this is designed for the factory workers. So they can put it back together uh, very easily. You have to spin the plywheels just a little bit till the drive shaft fits in. And once you've got that, you'll feel it, uh, you'll feel the drive shaft going in. When the drive shaft is in, the tower will just snap in there. Just to make it easy for the factory workers. And that's about it. Now I'm testing it on my bench and everything seems good. But the most important test is on the track. So I'm not throwing out this DCC uh, decoder. You never know, maybe one day I'll give in and get some controllers that fits in very well. And now it's time to run some trains. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. I certainly had fun making it for you. See you soon.